It breaks my heart to say this, y'all, but we've reached the end of an era. The cargo van man era is done. Finito. Gone. Sayonara. Peace out. Journey's been amazing, man. I have connected with so many awesome individuals along this journey. Uh, I've, uh, you know, grown myself individually. Um, I've been able to support so many of y'all. Um, it's just been really a fantastic uh, journey, man. And uh, But like all good things, they must come to an end. And this is that time uh, for me to bury the hatchet and, uh, you know, let go of this old energy and kind of move on to what's coming next, right? So this video is going to give y'all a little bit of a heads up and kind of an update as to where I'm at currently in my life, what I'm doing right now. Um, what the future of this channel is going to look like, uh, how I ended up here in this position right now, and for us to get caught back up. It's been a minute since I've been putting out videos, man. So stay tuned if y'all want to know where I'm at, what's been going on, and what's coming next, all right? So yeah, man, uh, the cargo van, man, I'm, I'm, I'm killing that thing. Okay, um, I'm moving past it. It's been, uh, it's been something that I've been thinking about for a minute. No longer does it feel aligned. Um, I'm not operating my business currently. Um, I have done some consultations and some random different things here and there. And um, I've done my best to support some people that have reached out to me. Uh, but even when I'm doing that, man, it's just I'm not active in the business right now. So it doesn't really feel in alignment for me to continue even doing like coaching courses, consultations, none of that stuff right now. Not that I don't have a ton of value can add. You know, I know I can definitely support a lot of y'all and I have even over the last couple months. But I'm at a point now where I think it's just time for me to let go of all this old stuff and kind of move on to, you know, what what's coming next, right? So I'll break some of that stuff down. I'll let you know where I'm at, what I'm doing. Let's get into that, all right? Y'all know a couple years ago, I started this journey with my cargo van out in Phoenix, Arizona, right? And uh, I started looking ways to make money with my van and it was super dope, man. It was, it was, uh, it was a su surprising thing for me. I wasn't planning to get into business. Um, but it, at that time in my life, what I was doing, you know, it really worked out. Um, it helped me create more income than what I was currently making at the time. Um, I was able to get back into entrepreneurship and running my own business and uh, being my own boss. And it was really something that I was enjoying. And, um, you know, I started, uh, you know, doing like, uh, you know, FedEx contracts and then eventually ended up getting my own work. I worked on a lot of the different gig apps back when they were really paying good. Now they've kind of not 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 nearly as good as they used to be uh so you know it was like a timing thing it worked out really well back then um you know but as i grew uh you know i ended up uh, coming across uh, some different uh you know direct shippers you know the water pallet company was one of those that all of y'all know about i put out a ton of content on that you know but as i was going through my business and i was documenting my journey you know uh, how we met, you know, here on YouTube and TikTok. And, you know, I was surprised by the amount of people that um, were attracted to my, my content and found value in my contact, my contact. Um, a lot of people really just found a ton of interest in what I was doing, man. And uh, through that process, you know, I helped a ton of people, man. Couldn't even count. And it was such a blessing, man. I was so grateful to be able to share kind of what I had learned and help some of these other guys make some good money, man. I've got some great stories there. Um, but I ended up started, you know, taking uh, the, this large network of owner operators, you know, on my TikTok and YouTube, all y'all that were looking for opportunities to make money, a ton of you guys, I hooked you guys up with like the water pallet company and so forth. But I started, you know, leveraging that to essentially be able to help like the water pallet company and other companies recruit drivers and so on and so forth. So I started getting into that started the side, side of the business, right? Um, fast forward, you know, eventually as I'm building up my relationship with the water pallet company, I start getting into more operational side of things, uh, which uh, helped me get out of driving my van on the day to day. I hired a buddy. He was driving my van for a minute. He was doing all my local stuff while I was at home uh, running operations for the water pallet company. And at a certain point, you know, it started to make sense for me to actually move to Texas. So uh, last year uh, as a September of 2023, uh, you know, me, my whole family, we decided let's do this thing. We're going to take this risk, move out to Houston, Texas. This is where the water pallet company uh, is at. And um, I took on a director role to actually manage their operations, a couple different departments uh, across the United States for, you know, their, their operations. 
And uh, the way I saw it, man, is I was already doing a lot of the local stuff. I was in the grind of doing the van thing. You know, I had this big network of owner operators, so it was easy for me to find drivers and recruit people. I also wanted to, you know, get more uh, skill sets in terms of like management and leadership and, you know, managing teams and uh, overall operations and stuff. So I saw it as a great potential for me to continue to strengthen my sword, sharpen my sword, strengthen my skills and grow and evolve, right? And there was also good opportunities to make some good money. You know, we had a vision as to where we wanted to take this thing and how I could come in and to be a part of it. And it really looked like something that was going to be epic, right? Honestly, though, within like less than four months, you know what I mean? Just the first couple months, a lot of things started shifting, man. The water palace side of things, which that wasn't the department that I was running. I was running like our local delivery stuff, more routed opportunities, you know, cases of water bottles, you know, uh, 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 bags of Morton water softener, salt, stuff like that. On the water palace side though, we had some competition, man, on Amazon and they started driving prices down, which then we drove our prices down. And, you know, over a two month span, dude, I think we lost damn near like $600,000 just to kind of keep moving stuff. And um, it was brutal. It was really, really tough for the business. And, you know, this whole time I'm trying to run these other departments to help offset some of that money so we can make some more money. I was doing it by myself though. I needed support, you know, I didn't have, you know, assistance and different things that some of these other departments had. So I'm like, look, man, I'm growing this thing. I'm scaling this thing. I'm creating new processes. I scaled it from maybe like five, six cities we were in to damn near almost 30 cities. You know what I mean? And I probably 10 X the actual revenue that we were bringing in, if not more. And, um, you know, and this is all in a matter of just like two, three months. Right. Um, but I was being promised certain things like I'm going to get you an assistant, you know, this, this and that. And, you know, as things kept uh, progressing, uh, I, those were going, those weren't happening, you know? So I'm just like constantly stressed. You know what I mean? Always worried that my department's going to get shut down or this whole thing's going to crumble. And it was like one of the most stressful things I've ever done. Right. You know, and now we're out here in Houston, you know, me and my family, we don't have any family or friends out here. So we're all alone, you know, trying to figure this thing out. And then I'm working all the time, just super stressed, just trying to figure out how to unlock this shit and make this thing like freaking work. And, um, yeah, man. So after like four months of that, dude, you know, a lot of things happened and, you know, me and the owner without going into too much detail, we ended up having a falling out and like out of nowhere, dude, I got let go. And I was not expecting that. Mind you, I'm the sole provider for my family. My, my, my fiance, you know, she stays at home with the kids. She doesn't bring in any income. So being in a new city, just, you know, four months after moving out here without any income coming in, scary, bro. Super scary moment, right? I didn't have my van anymore. I let that go, you know, and I just, I decided, you know, I'm going to go all in on this opportunity because I really believed in the mission and what we were trying to do and I saw where we could go with it um but you know ultimately that whole thing fell apart right so um you know I get let go like uh the week of basically Thanksgiving so we're about to roll into December you know with no money no job you know no income so you know I'm like fuck you know what am I gonna do man like I gotta figure this thing out right so you know for me my background, my history, what I've done my whole life, man, is sales, right? Like this logistics thing was like something fun for me to do. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, but I've always been in sales and I've always succeeded in sales. And one thing I love about sales is I know if you find the right opportunity, the right job, your income can be uncapped. You know, nobody's going to tell you, hey, this is what your hourly wage is and this is what you're worth. You know what I mean? It's like, I can figure out how to do what I do best and that's sell things, right? And, and my output is what's going to actually impact my paycheck. So I was like, dude, you know what, man, like <coughs> sucks, you know, but I'm going to have to go get another sales job, you know? And, uh, so I took some time, uh, interviewed a bunch of different spots, trying to figure out the right one. And, and, and in a matter of, you know, two weeks from the moment I got, you know, let go, um, I secured a new job. Okay. And uh, what I started doing, man, is I started selling whole home water treatment systems. So basically reverse osmosis, you know, water softening, carbon tanks, basically helping folks get clean water in their house, right? And uh, the potentials to earn here are fantastic. You know, average salesperson's making over $100,000 a year, top sales guys, 150, 200 grand plus, right? So, you know, I saw the potential, I knew that it was there. So I was like, let's jump into this thing. I'm gonna give him my all, you know, it's mission only, which a lot of people get scared of that stuff, man. But me, I'm like, I believe in myself, man. I know like, you know, commission only just means, Hey, 
yo, y'all that can sell, you're gonna get paid, man. It's when, it's when you end up on those pay plans where they throw you 40, 50 grand salary and then throw you some extra bonus commission on top. Those don't ever pay very well, man. Then you're usually making 100, 120,000 a year if you're a top guy, right? So I went with the commission only pay plan, okay? And uh, so that's what I started doing back in December. It was December 11th was when I actually got started doing that thing, okay? Now, there was a two week training program, you know what I mean? So I had to go through two weeks of training. I didn't really make much money there. You know, thankfully I had a, my last check from uh, the water pallet company. I was able to pay rent and stuff for, you know, for December, um, but it was tough, man. You know, my family actually went back out to Arizona and they stayed with family out there for like a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it was so stressful out here, man. And uh, without them having support, me having support, you know, I started like some of my stress and, and fears of, you you know everything failing and me losing everything got real and uh so you know them going out there was honestly probably the best thing they could have done we went through some real hard times man um you know again i was not prepared for this you know it cost a lot to move out here you know bills and stuff had gone up our rents more here and different stuff like that so um, you know, I just did the best that I could, but dude, it was scary, man. Like January, bro, by the time January came around, I finally was out in the field and I was selling these water, these water treatment systems. Um, but I was, you know, backed up on all my bills, man. You know, I didn't have income coming in for the last month, month and a half. So it was like, uh, you know, dude, my water was getting cut off. Electricity got cut off. I was damn near like almost got evicted from my rent, you know, from my house. Like I literally didn't pay my January rent until the day before February. Like it was brutal, man. But you know, I'm the type of person, man, like I just keep going, bro. You know, I'm like, I got a family that depends on me. I am not failing. I'm not letting them down. Like it is my responsibility to provide for my family. So I'm going to figure this thing out. I don't care what it takes all the stress that's piling up and all the bills and people calling me, it's like, can't let that shit get in your way. You know what I mean? So I buckled down, got really good at what I was doing, you know, selling these water treatment systems. I, I learned what I could do to get better kept applying those, you know, principles. And, you know, my first month was cool, man. You know, I, I made some good money. Um, you know, it was like, I think I sold five systems and I made about six grand, not great, but you know what I mean? It's better than no money coming in, but I knew that those top guys were really, really crushing it. Right. So I just wanted to get better, you know? So what I ended up doing, you know, uh, February, um, I actually took number one, first place in our whole department in, in sales. And I, made a great amount of money, right? You know, like I said, you know, top guys are 150 plus thousand a year. So, you know, now my, my income was starting to get aligned with that. Right. And now at this point, it's like, dude, I'm bringing in more money than I was making with, you know, the, the water pallet company. I'm bringing in more money right now than I was making when I was running my cargo van business. Now, granted, I was making 115, you know, hundred thousand, 120,000 a year, depending on how you look at all this stuff. But there's all sorts of things that come off the top of that, right? You know, you got your, 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 all your, all your overhead and everything, fuel and van payments and insurances and all this stuff. So it's like, if you're making a hundred grand that you're not really making a hundred grand now, you know, with this opportunity, it's super easy and I'm, I'm killing it, you know? So I was blessed and, and, and thank God for that, man. I was praying to him, man, just like, yo, give me something, man. Don't let me fail my family. Like I can't do this without you. I'm here to provide for them, but you provide for me. And, uh, you know, I was blessed with this opportunity and now I'm making really good income. Now my schedule is a little funky, you know, I work six days a week. Granted, I don't work a 40 hour a day week, you know, a 40, a 40 hours a day. That'd be crazy. It's not even possible. <laughs> uh, I don't work 40 hours a week though, which is nice. Most of my mornings and my middays, I, I have those free. I got a ton of time with the fam and with the kids and all that stuff. It's been great. Um, I mostly go out and, you know, meet somebody at their house, you know, evenings, afternoons, you know, sometimes nighttime stuff so I'll do one or two appointments a day um, so it's been really chill man you know go into a house you're there for an hour and a half two hours give or take and you have the potential to earn anywhere between like 800 bucks to like eighteen hundred dollars a sale it's freaking awesome so my goal is to hit like four sales a week you know I'll usually end up somewhere between like you know right around three this has had five some weeks you know two other weeks you know um, but the income potential is there I've now been able to get caught up on all my bills and uh, we're, we're, we're living again. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling as stressed. I don't have the responsibility that I had when I was trying to manage these departments with the water pallet company and just like, it was, 
it was tough, bro. It was tough mentally. It's like, you know, I'd go work from, you know, nine o'clock until five o'clock, 5.30. I'd get home six o'clock. Work still following me, drivers calling me. You know, I could never get away from it, man. Now it's like, I just go in, I sit down, I do my appointments with people and then I'm free. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's been, uh, it's been a real opportunity. Like right now I had an appointment this morning, you know, and uh, now I'm sitting here in my car and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna hop on here. I'm gonna make this video that I've been thinking about making. So that way I can let y'all know what's going on. Right. Um, but the beautiful thing is, is with what I'm doing right now, I do have a lot of free time and, uh, you know, the mornings, days and so on and so forth. So, um, it's like, I have this opportunity right now to make 150 grand plus a year and I still got a ton of time and me being an entrepreneur at heart, um, you know, this is not going to be something I do forever. I've never been that type of person that can work a job, although I'm making great money and you know, I could easily just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I just, I know that's not the type of person I am. Um, maybe I'll do this for a couple of years and stack up bread. You know, I'm planning to buy a house next year out here in Texas and, um, you know, stuff like that. But, um, the next leg of this channel, okay. Um, so just so y'all know, there's going to be some changes to the content of put now. I'm no longer really gonna be talking about the cargo van business. Um, but I have started multiple businesses in my life, right? Entrepreneurs, you know, you have to create businesses. Some will succeed. Some will fail. Some may succeed and then fail after the fact, right? I like, I kind of feel like this is one of those things with the cargo van, man. It was a success and I made some good money. I built an awesome network. Uh, I learned so much about business and about myself. And then I made some different moves that kind of moved me away from me operating my business. And then, you know, I got out of just like driving my van. I let go of my van. I decided not to keep doing that thing since I was just going to go all in on, on, on <coughs> the director role. And that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but I did. So, you know, I, I'm at a point now where I'm okay. Well, what's next? Right. So, um, I, I got a few different business ideas I want to start creating. Um, one thing I want to like get into more is creating businesses that are automated. Um, I really want to create a life here in the next like three years to where like I can be making 150 plus thousand dollars a year and work remote wherever I want to be. So I'm not tied down. Cause like ultimately I just want to create more income for my family, but also have more time available to my family to be able to spend with them. So, um, that's going to be this channel. Um, I'm probably going to talk a lot about sales and stuff and give you all some different advice on sales. Uh, I'm going to talk about entrepreneurship. I'm going to talk about YouTube and TikTok and how to grow your businesses there and how to leverage those platforms to be able to build up a massive following and how you can then use like TikTok, for example, as like a lead source to be able to then generate revenue from, from the people that you build up on your network there, um, how to build a community on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be diving into like that stuff, like social media media marketing and so on and so forth. I'm going to be talking about entrepreneurship, starting businesses, how to do that stuff, you know, what it takes to start a business, creating your LLCs, all those different things. Um, and then we're going to have some fun, man. Once I, I'm not going to tell y'all what's coming next, but, um, once I start some of these other new businesses here pretty soon, I'm getting married in like two months, man. So, um, I'm not going to be jumping into the new businesses until after the marriage. Uh, I already got plenty of stuff I got to plan there. So, um, I'm not going to get myself overwhelmed. Um, but just bear with me, man. In another couple months, there's going to be some awesome stuff. I'm going to be documenting it all. And I want to show y'all other ways to create other businesses. And I want y'all to be along with me for that journey. Um, I think a lot of y'all are going to benefit from this channel, even though it's not going to be cargo van related anymore. But y'all are entrepreneurs, man. Y'all, I guarantee, are not just trying to start a cargo van business. Like, if you're anything like me, you know, you want to have multiple streams of income and really just be an entrepreneur, right? Create, create businesses, create jobs, create create income for your family, create generational wealth, right? So that's what this channel is really going to be about. I'm going to be rebranding it. It's no longer going to be going to be the cargo van, man. This will be the last video that y'all see the cargo van, man. Okay. Um, so moving forward, it's likely just going to be branded just for, as myself. I'm going to go just as a personal brand and talk about all the things that I love, man, family, business, entrepreneurship, social media marketing, and anything else that I feel like mixing into the, mixing into the sauce. Right. So, um, anyways, man, I know this is a long video. I just really wanted to give y'all this video. Uh, I felt like that y'all deserve to know what's going on. It's been a minute since I've been posting. Uh, I didn't want y'all just to 
think like I'm just dead or gone or you know never coming back. Um, that's not true. Uh, I will be back, and there's gonna be a ton of content. Uh, just be prepared. It's gonna be different, man. But y'all are gonna get a ton of value. I've learned so much along my life, man, and I just hope to continue to share that stuff with y'all, and uh, hope you guys, uh, you know, can 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 benefit from it. Um, I hope to see most of y'all. Um, stay tuned with me if you love, you know, if you love my journey, man. Like we ain't going nowhere. We're gonna keep doing this thing. So. Um, but anyways, y'all, much love from me to you. I can't wait to, you know, tap in with you guys again. Drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all are excited, you know what I mean? Uh, if you're sad, you know, I I'm feeling all the feelings, man, to be honest. But ultimately, this is what's best for me. And, and, and this is what feels in alignment for me. Um, I don't have to feel like an imposter and continue to like do this cargo van thing when I just know it's like uh, that, that part of my journey is gone. So um, welcoming into the new and uh, we'll see what happens, man. But until next time, love y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.